GPU accelerated isosurface volume rendering using depth-based coherence. Colin Braley, Robert Hagen, Yang Chao, and Dennis Grachinen. Our algorithm is used to increase interactivity when the user is rotating around a volume dataset. First, we cast a ray through each of the pixels in the image plane. We then traverse each ray. All of these traversals are done in parallel. When we find an isosurface intersection, we mark it in our prediction buffer. Note that we call this type of traversal full traversal. Let's assume the user rotates the viewpoint by some small angle d theta. Here, we see that this ray didn't intersect the isosurface on our previous render. Therefore, we simply traverse the ray by stepping along it by some fixed amount dt. Since this requires no branching, it is well suited to GPU execution. We call this sparse traversal. Here, we traverse this ray in a back and forth manner, again using dt as our step size. We call this local traversal. We traverse the next four rays using local traversal. We are likely to find the isosurface at a depth near our prediction value. This coherence greatly speeds up rendering. Here we see another case of sparse traversal. However, this time we find another isosurface intersection and mark it in the prediction buffer. Recall that we stepped along the ray by a specified interval dt. We need to choose dt such that we get an acceptable trade-off between image quality and speed. We will base our formula for dt off the dimensions of an individual voxel. We can't use just one width, like dh, because voxels are not necessarily cubic. Our formula for dt takes one parameter, kappa. Here we see how kappa affects rendering time, assuming all pixels are rendered with sparse traversal. We will now investigate the effect of kappa on image quality. We will look at a close-up of the ear isosurface on the visible human male dataset. we see that kappa equals 0.5 is almost indistinguishable from full traversal. Here we see a histogram showing what speedup is achieved when rendering various data sets. Note that we define speedup as the average time taken in the rendering kernel without using the prediction buffer, divided by the average time when using the buffer. Thank you for watching.